Hello Borough fans and welcome to the final whistle here on Borough Fan TV. I'm Joe, I'm Joe, I've been joined by a guest here in AJT. We're outside the Riverside Stadium, a 1-0 home defeat at the hands of uh, Bristol City. Guess five games, five, well five games in the war, five losses in the war. It's got to be game over mate, surely in terms of the playoffs. Like you say, I, I do think the season's over, but as a Borough fan, you're just living up. Uh, first half there, we started off really well. Don't know why we went two or three goals in front before Bristol City scored, but you could see that coming. You could see the more chances we're having, the, you know, the, the confidence was draining, and and there's not one of them players, not one of them. George Friend, your captain of Middlesbrough Football Club, why don't you just get a grip instead of waving your arms about at half time, waving your arms about to the West Stand of all places yeah. to get a bit of passion from the West Stand, George? Away, mate. You know, why haven't we got no one? I dare say there's Bessic and maybe Clayton are the only two, maybe Zayala, who would go on and grab someone by the scruff of their neck and yeah. say, away. For fuck's sake, get your finger from out your ass and start giving everything for this fucking football club. Because it's it's not good enough. Pulis, five games. Any any other club in this country, that manager wouldn't do his press conference and they'd say adios. He'd be up the, you know what I mean? He'd be up the road. This isn't good enough. This isn't good enough for a team that's been in the playoff positions since the second week of the season. It's absolutely dross the way we fell off the edge of the cliff and it's absolutely proven that there's a miscard within the dressing room and the manager. It's, it's not good enough. The red, there was more red seats tonight than what there is at friggin' Rope Air, the stadium of lights tonight in that stadium. I don't know what the announcement give because they, they just give 21,000 how many season tickets. No one's turning up no more and it's just if we get beat next week against Swansea, less and less people are going to start turning up at this stadium and it's just going to go back to seven, 8,000 a week, and we're going to have mediocrity in the championship. That's if we have a squad good enough to keep us in the championship. You can just see us going down that slippery slope now of mediocrity. Like you say, we are a championship side. We've only had one season in the premiership, what, since Southgate took us down 2007, wasn't it? We are a, prem we are a championship club. Let's not stop kidding ourselves as fans. We're a championship club. Let's stop buying in to what the PR people in this club are feeding us. You know what I mean? It's 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 heartbreaking as a Borough fan. Yeah, it definitely is. AJ, a lot of people a lot of fans, you know, have been shouting for Pulis to said, but yeah. some people will say it'll, it'll be Gimson, but it's difficult to tell, you know, who is actually to blame for the club's current form at the minute, mate. Pulis. Joe. Pulis is the man to blame for the current form. Pulis and the players, and as I listen, I agree with everything guess he said he, he totally hit the nail on the head, mate. It's an absolute joke, and it hurts. It hurts, Joe. As a Borough fan, it hurts watching every week again. You know what I mean? Because you go in the stadium, you know exactly what's going to happen. You know what I mean? Borough go one 0 down, we're not coming back. Borough go one 0 down, we're not going to. We're not going to show no passion or fight to get back into the game. It's showed tonight, mm -hmm. and it's showed for the past five previous results, Joe. Yeah. Five defeats in a row, mate, and four being at home. It's just an absolute embarrassment. It's an absolute joke. It seems to be looking at us now and laughing at us, and no doubt Swansea have seen our result. Seeing our form, and they're rubbing their hands together and I'm ready for Saturday. Yeah. You know what I mean? They'll know exactly what Borough are all about. I don't be surprised if Borough go there and get absolutely trounced once again. But the person that I will feel sorry for, if that happens, is all the Borough fans that have travelled there. Because yeah. we don't deserve it as fans, man. So, I mean, we don't deserve to see five defeats in a row before being at home. Yeah. If a Borough fan doesn't have a season ticket and they've paid that four times to go and watch that, I mean, it's over £100 to go and watch a team get beat four times. What's that? Is that we may as well stick us on bloody Comedy Central. That's what must be belong at the minute. It's an absolute bloody liberty, man. Yeah. Like I say, I guess the, um, about the attendance loads, um, it brings us back, you know, back to Essen Park, like I said, with 8,000 turn up per game. I'm on about 8,000 here, mate. Yeah, I can I, imagine. I'm bad times. Here, we've had the bad times at Essen Park. We've had them here. Brian Robson come to this club, 94, 95, whenever it was, yeah. and put this club on the map. He made us, the players that he brought in, an exciting, entertaining team. Right, people wanted to come and watch the Borough. People wanted to watch the Borough on the telly because we were exciting. We had flair players, we had goal scorers, and since well, Europe, McLaren's time, yeah. he, he was a boring bastard as well. Him yeah. since his time, but he's our greatest manager. 
It's still it's available. It's still available now after QB has sacked him this week. Yeah, fucking hell. No, I don't want him now, Joe. Yeah. You know what I mean? Let him stay where he is. Yeah. It, it's it's this this is a really bad time at the moment because, yeah. like you say, five games on the trot. How do you get out of that? How, how do you get out of that? So really, you're going to be going to Swansea, and to stop the Ross. As a manager, you're thinking, right, we've got to get out of here with a point. So he's going to go to Swansea on Saturday to come over there way from there with Summers. He's not going to go there looking for three points. He hasn't gone looking for three points all fucking season. But he's going to want to come away from Swansea with a point. So he's going there, mindset, not to get beat. Because he's got to get Summers there. But you're going to, Borough fans are going to travel down there in the hundreds. I don't say they'll be going down in the thousands. And they're going to get absolutely pissed on it it's heartbreaking this that's the thing that, that's the word I've been looking for it's heartbreaking and it's gutting as a Butter fan as I says there man Swansea can, we can't say we're going to get anything we can't say we're going to win the game yeah. there's no one's positive are there let's be real you've seen it tonight man yeah. there must have been 18, 17,000 there there can't have been much more than that there tonight and it's going down the attendances Joe week in week out man and you see it ball on the way 350 350 fans going to Bolton, like what the hell is all that about? It's just an absolute joke, man. Yeah, so speaking of Bolton, there, there's a possibility that Bolton might not go ahead uh, on Tuesday night, but it's, it's got to be sad time. Be. Yeah, it's got to be sad time. It's, it's bit, for, Bolton, going away from a very respected. Bolton, will go, yeah. ahead. Bolton win, will go ahead. They, they, they can't afford yeah. not to, to fulfil their fixtures. That game will go ahead because if the same happens in the AFL, what happens in like Sunday League? Football, Saturday League football, everyone's points against Bolton will be taken away if they drop out the league. So that that game has to go ahead. Yeah. Like I say, AJ, the long six six hour round trip yeah. to the uh, Liberty Stadium at first Swansea on Saturday. I mean, it's just about playing for pride now as a Borough fan going into the next last few games. Then players should be playing for pride. Then players should think they've still got seven games left and try and push these fans and try and try and give us some at the end of the season as much as it's been. They dare come out and play for pride. It's absolute liberty, man. We can, we, we, I think as fans, we're allowed to say whatever we want, exactly how we feel. But them players, they come out and play for pride against Swansea. I'll be fuming. Yeah. And then the day, I'm gonna enjoy it. At the end of the day, I mean, seven games left. They've got to go for it. Yeah. I don't care how upset they are. How the hell do you think we are? He's got Swansea playing. Old Bristol City playing. Yeah. Teams like that are, are just gonna pass around us. Yeah. 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 Teams like Swansea are just gonna pass around us. We, we just don't have the movement the mobility to keep up with these players with pace, vision, everything the majority of our squad hasn't got. A lot of the teams in this championship have. You know what I mean? We've seen Bristol City. Yeah. How long did they keep the ball in the corner well, in front of their own fans? As well, then. For, at the start of the second half. It must have been around five minutes. Yeah. And it's, it's a joy as a football fan to watch. But yeah. when it's against your own club, it's a fucking joke. It's, it's frustrating, yeah. Like I say, we'll be back here against Hull on the 13th. Can you see many fans turning up yeah, after the last few games no going into Hull? No chance. If you get beat by Swansea and then you got to get, don't get anything at Bolton, <coughs> be looking to score 15,000 in there, Joe. Let's <coughs> be real. Like I say, thanks, lads. And um, we'll be, we'll be, like I say, AJ will be at Swansea um, on Saturday with a 3 pm kickoff. So until then, Borough fans, I'm Ben Joe from Borough Fan TV. We'll see you then. Up the Borough.